Welcome back to Euro Football Daily for this week's Euro Transfer Talk. A lot has gone on in the last seven days, so let's get straight into it. And where else is there to start but Kylian Mbappe? We covered the reported falling out the 23-year-old had with the PSG hierarchy last week, with their relationship said to be completely broken as the player demanded to leave the club, despite signing a three-year deal as last season drew to a close. This, of course, was music to the ears of Real Madrid fans with the Frenchman having previously indicated that the Spanish champions would be the only club he'd be interested in leaving Le Parisien for. However, if Marco are to be believed, then Madridistas need to temper their expectations, as Los Blancos are unlikely to make a move for Mbappe anytime soon. This is partially due to having spent some of the money earmarked for a blockbuster deal to sign the World Cup winner on his international teammate Aurelien Chouameni. But there also appears to be fresh concerns about the impact that he could have on the dressing room. Real Madrid president Florentino Perez believes that the harmony at his club is the healthiest it's been since he returned in 2009 and fears Mbappe could upset the apple cart. The striker who set up Neymar's goal in their side's 1-0 victory over Marseille on Sunday has also come out and said he's very happy with his current situation, stating that he was as shocked as anyone about the story that emerged last week, reiterating that he wasn't involved with it. The story in question centers on unfulfilled promises. Apparently, Mbappe feels betrayed by the club's board because they failed to deliver a number of high-profile signings. These included Robert Lewandowski, Bernardo Silva, and Milan Skriniar. PSG came closest to signing Skriniar, but couldn't agree a fee with Inter for the Slovakian centre-back. And according to L'Equipe, Mbappe is considering the nuclear option of terminating his own contract, although that seemed a little excessive. Do you think Kylian Mbappe will actually leave PSG in the near future? Or is this just his latest tantrum? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. So while Mbappe's future with PSG appears to be unclear, despite reaffirming his loyalty, the club are said to be in the market for a potential replacement. And according to Gazzetto della Sport, top of the list is Inter Milan's Lautaro Martinez. The report also suggests that the French champions would be willing to pay up to 75 million euros for the 25-year-old, who has 79 goals in 194 appearances for the Nerazzurri. This season has seen the Argentine international make something of a slow start, with just four goals in 10 league appearances, as his side have fallen to seventh spot, eight points off the pace set by Napoli at the summit of Serie A. Still, that hasn't made Martinez any less desirable, despite one club being told he's not for sale at any price. Reportedly, that club was Manchester United, who were also in the market for a marquee striker. Despite Eric Ten Hag reintroducing 37-year-old Ronaldo into the starting lineup for their draw with Newcastle this past Sunday, United have long held an interest in Martinez, with the club having considered paying his 100 million euro release clause following his breakout 2019-20 campaign. But the striker's reluctance to leave Inter meant that they chose not to pursue a deal. And unfortunately for United fans, that's also the case this time round, with the revelation coming soon after Old Trafford representatives spoke with Alejandro Camano, the striker's agent to see if a deal could be struck. So, it appears that Lautaro Martinez will be staying put at the San Siro, and with a contract in place until 2026, neither player nor club will be forced into making a decision on his future in the foreseeable future. In that case, who should United turn their attentions to? Get your answers in the comments. Next up, one of the undisputed stars of the Bundesliga, RB Leipzig attacker Christopher Nkunku. Only a few weeks ago, it looked a foregone conclusion that this season would be his last in Germany, with Chelsea close to signing the 24-year-old, with Bild even reporting that the Frenchman had had a secret medical with the Blues ahead of the two clubs agreeing on a fee. But as it stands, no agreement has been reached between the two clubs, leaving the gates open for other European superpowers to sneak in, something that Liverpool are reportedly considering. The Red Centre scout to Parkhead last week to see him in Champions League action, and whilst he didn't score or assist, he still played a big part in Leipzig's 2-0 victory over Celtic. That match aside though, Nkunku remains in imperious form, with 10 goals in all competitions, seven of which have come in the Bundesliga as De Rottenbullen look to recover from a shaky start at the beginning of this campaign. This has capped a remarkable rise for the eight-time international, who PSG sold for 13 million euros in 2019. Since the beginning of last season, Nkunku has 
has 45 goals to his name, around 60% of his career goal total. With over a century of goal contributions since his arrival in Saxony, it's no surprise that the player is hot property. However, despite these developments, the Liverpool hierarchy believe it will be difficult to prize and conquer away from the grasp of Chelsea. But until it's completed, there will remain a glimmer of hope for Jurgen Klopp's side. If you want to keep up with this story, don't forget you can do just that by scanning the QR code on screen now and visiting Sky Sports Transfer Centre. One player who could be on the way out of Stamford Bridge, though, is Ruben Loftus-Cheek. However, instead of a move down the Premier League, as has been touted regularly in recent years, the midfielder could actually be in for a switch to another of Europe's elite clubs. This time, it's AC Milan who are exploring the possibility of signing the 26-year-old. After being impressed by his performance during their recent 3-0 Champions League defeat at Stamford Bridge, RLC provided the assist for the opener in that match just two weeks ago. And whilst he would only feature briefly in the return fixture, Rossonieri Chiefs are considering a move in January. Up to now, the England international has never quite managed to hold down a starting spot in the Chelsea starting eleven, making. 89 Premier League appearances for the Blues to date. This season though, things might have changed for the former Crystal Palace and Fulham Loney, with his seven Premier League starts for the Blues, already the second highest of his career in West London. And it appears that he's quickly won the trust of new manager Graham Potter, who will no doubt encourage the board to keep him around. However, that may be tricky as his contract is set to expire in 2024, and getting underutilised assets out of Chelsea has been AC Milan's calling card in recent years, with Bakayoko, Giroud and Tamori all arriving at the San Siro in the recent past. Well worth keeping an eye on. All is not rosy at Juventus. With the club languishing in 8th place in Serie A and on the verge of an exit from the Champions League following defeat to Israeli side Maccabi Haifa last week. And now, their captain wants out too. According to Italian newspaper Il Giorno, centre-back Leonardo Bonucci has seen his relationship with boss Max Allegri break down leading to the 35-year-old asking to leave the club for a second time in his career. The outlet also identifies Tottenham Hotspur as a potential destination for the veteran, which would seem linked back up with manager Antonio Conte, as well as former teammates Rodrigo Bentinker and Dejan Kulisevsky. Bonucci has seen his game time reduced this season, starting just four times for the Bianconeri. And when he's been given the opportunity, he's hardly impressed. But it would be very Antonio Conte to turn his fortunes round, even in the dying embers of his career. Is a January transfer on the cards? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. Last week, we brought you the sensational news that Real Madrid were reportedly interested in João Felix, who of course plays for arch-rivals Atletico Madrid. Whilst nothing is yet to materialise, one thing does seem apparent. The 22-year-old wants out of the Wanda Metropolitano. According to Portuguese newspaper A Bola, Felix is said to be eager to leave Atleti as soon as this January, with his relationship with manager Diego Simeone falling apart. It recently came to a head as the attacker was asked to warm up three times during their recent 0-0 draw with Club Bruges, where he remained an unused sub. Felix has failed to impress this season, with no goal involvements to his name since the opening day, whilst he only has 29 strikes and 18 assists in 3 plus years with Los Colchoneros. As we addressed last week though, any potential move is made more difficult by the fact the Portuguese international's contract doesn't expire until 2026, meaning Atleti would likely expect a premium in order to sell. Food for thought for some of the Premier League's top clubs too. So team, that was Euro Transfer Talk for another week, but what big rumours have we missed? Let us know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe to the channel with notifications on, and we'll catch you next time.